Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a Thread Up DIY five pound jewelry box. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales for YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can definitely work something out. And shipping starts at $5 for everything under a pound. If you go over a pound, shipping will be based on location and weight. And I do ship internationally and shipping for international orders would be based on location and weight as well. Okay guys, so let's dive in and see what we have here. So I hope everyone is doing well. It's so hot in New York City. It's over 90 degrees and it's supposed to cool down. So I'm filming this on Sunday for Wednesday. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, the weather has significantly cooled down by where you are. I hope so. And I hope you guys are staying cool and taking care of yourselves. Okay, so this box is from Sewanee, Georgia. And let's dive in and see what Swanee has in store for us. Okay. And this box costs $44. And that does not include shipping and taxes. So I think this box comes out to probably around 50 or so dollars for me in the end. But uh, yeah, let's open her up and see what's in here. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up. Ooh, this bag is open. So I'm going to take the bag out of the box. And yeah, so this bag was spilling out, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, let me take off this tissue paper. Let's see if we can get a better look at what's in here. So this is first looks, guys. I see some prepackaged, um, some new tag things. Um, I see some faux pearls, some fringe type looking things. So let's dive in and see what's in here. Okay, so I'm gonna move this bag off to the side and begin taking things out of it. Okay, so first thing out of the box, we have this really cute a door and it says crystals from Swarovski available at Bloomingdale's Nordstrom and Adore Jewelry. Stack and sparkle. It says Adore signature organic circle bracelet is beautifully crafted with an asymmetrical shape featuring rose gold plating and a Swarovski crystal. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. I like new in Package, new on card, new with tag stuff. So that's pretty cool. Then we have this guy. So this is cute. We have really pretty, it says hope here with a heart. This has a butterfly and it says fly. And this has a flower with a star. Really pretty. So we have three different um, silver tone, copper, and brass colored metal here. Stretch on this is a little tight, but it's still pretty good. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at around, I think it's seven and a half. So we have this cutie. Let's do this one for four dollars if anybody wants this one. Okay, and we have this earring. Really cool looking earring. Let's see if we're gonna match. Next, we have these earrings here. They're fashion earrings. We're missing one here and several others. But if anybody wants this set, it'll be a dollar. Then we have this, which 
has a tag and it's an AEO. So I think that's American Eagle Outfitters. And it has these bugle beads. It looks a little bit worn, but it's a little bracelet guy. Um, I think this will go into craft. I don't think it is in the best of condition. So we have that. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. We have. Hmm. We have. two-tone earring here, so we kind of match to that. We have a cross silver tone bangle. That's cute. Let's get a measurement on this. This is pretty large. It's nine and a half. If anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. Then we have this necklace here. Looks pretty worn. And I think this is a Kendra Scott, there's her tag, but this looks pretty, pretty worn. Um, there's a lot of verdigris on this guy, and some of the silver plating has come off. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. So we have a silver tone dangle here. We have Tortoise for faux tortoise shell earring. We have this stretchy green bobbly bead goodness with a bow here. Um, anybody wants this? This will be a dollar. Okay, we have this guy, which is oops, tangled up here. We have this guy, which is a grassy colored piece and has no tag on it. Has a bonus hair. Oops. Very long bonus hair there. And um, this is really cool. It's a Cleopatra vibe necklace. But it has these brassy coins coming down. There's more bonus here, here. Uh, okay, yuck. All right, but this is really pretty. Really nice. I like that a lot. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at approximately 16 inches with a three inch extender. It's really cool. I like that a lot. If anybody wants this one, this one will be five dollars. There is some discoloration here. Okay. So far, guys, I'm not so sure what we have here, but I'm still hopeful. We still have a big bag here. So we have this earring here. Really cute. I think I see the match right here. And these are cute. I wonder if this is a stone. Sort of kind of looks like one. Let's see if I can bring the presidium over here and test these stones. So these are definitely something. They're registering in a garnet tourmaline iolite. Ooh, this one's moving up. So it's a little bit past garnet, tourmaline, and iolite, and in between tanzanite and aqua. So these are beautiful. Beautiful stones on these earrings. Peachy colored. Maybe this is um, it's an agate. They're really pretty, and it's the gold tone leaves and the triangle and ear hooks. So, if anybody wants these, let's do these for $5. Those are cute. Okay, 
Next, we have more of these fashion earrings here. And this one, okay. Let's see. This one, we have the hoops. A lot of hoops here. This looks like it has a cow cowrie shell and tortoiseshell, tortoiseshell. These are cute. I like these. Um, if anybody wants this whole card, I think we're missing a few earrings here though. This will be a dollar. It's pretty cool. And we have these wood earrings. And I think it's not matched to this one. These are really cool. I really like these a lot. And I think these probably belong to, all these earrings belong to the same person because you can see that they have similar styles. Um, so this is wood. I don't think this is sterling. These are magnetic. They're not sterling, but they're very beautiful. We have the wood and I love this design on this binding here. Very pretty. Um, let's do these for four. Those are cool. Okay, we have an earring here. Looks like it has a little tree some copper and this says 925 mexico cool those are nice let's see if we find a match to that i'm hopeful okay next we have carol carol ink but we're missing one of the flowers here let's see what this is we have Okay, I think these are two separate earrings here. Yes, okay. So we have these earrings, which are really cool. This has a little mark on that. I wonder if we wipe it down, if it'll come off. Yeah, that comes right off. So these are really pretty, I like this. They're very um, elegant and minimalist. Very skinny, long dangles here. And it has a little tiny chain. Really cute, guys. Um, let's measure these. These measure about about three and three quarters. I like these a lot. If anybody wants these, these will be four dollars. I like those. Okay, next we have this little earring. And these are cute. I don't know. It's magnetic. All right. Let's see what else we have. We have this earring, which is a really cute enameled with the rhinestones, pavade, evil eye. Let's see if we find a match to that. Okay. Oh, we have these two earrings here. Really nice how they put them together like this. Let's see if these are marked. Oh, these are marked 925 on the ear post. And it says, I believe it says S925 right there. So that's cool. Let's test them and see if they are sterling. And test the post. And I am running out of my 18K solution, so I need to order more. Um, but if this line turns bright blue, then these earrings are sterling. And let's see, they do turn bright blue. So that is cool. So we do have some sterling stud earrings on our hands, which is very nice. And let me just test these stones here. Yeah, these are CZs, but very, very cute CZ stud earrings, 925. Really cool. And if anybody wants these, these will be dollars really cool beautiful earrings
Okay, next we have this earring here, really pretty. And this one is marked 925 Mexico. Really cool. That's a check mark there. So I'm not sure if this is a specific brand. This is a beautiful earring, and I wonder if this is turquoise, two different kinds of turquoise, possibly carnelian. That is a beautiful hoop earring, and I hope we find a match to that. Then we have this earring. I think this is just brass. Okay. We have a bangle here. These are fashion bangles. And if anybody wants these, these will be four for a dollar. If we find four of them. So these earrings, we saw the match to them earlier. Really, really cool statement earrings. Love these guys. And they're brushed gold. And they have a post. And let's see if it has a mark. I didn't even check. Okay, so these are marked. They are marked on the post. I don't know if you can see, but it says Sheila Fall, F A U L. So that's interesting. That's really cool. I've never heard of Sheila Fall before, but if you guys have, let me know down below. They're really cool earrings. And I will put the price down below for these. Really nice. I like those a lot. Let's keep going. We have this beautiful cobalt blue bobbly goodness. Fortunately, that bee just needs to be tucked back in. But this is cool. It looks like a bobble bar. I think there's an earring stuck in there. <laughs> so these are not marked. Okay, let's see. We have this earring. We have this, which I'm not sure what this is. This might have been part of a bracelet, so we'll probably find other pieces to it in here. We have this earring. I wonder if this is sterling. I don't think so. Looks like it's brass. Well, it could be sterling. It kind of looks like it. Okay, we'll take our 10K solution, 18K solution here. It turns bright blue. We have sterling on our hands. And we do. So this is sterling. That's cool. And I wonder if this is turquoise. I'm going to test it on the Presidium. Well, it's moving up between, so I'll show you. So this guy is moving up somewhere in there. So I think this is probably dyed halite. Okay. We have some sterling. Hopefully we find a match to that. Okay, let's keep going. The little tassel earring, really cute. We have this little guy here with the painted seam with the trees, really neat. Like that a lot. And we have, whoa, we have this earring, really neat. Really cool earring. Love that. We have that. Let's see if we're going to match to that. Let's see. Oh, we have a match to this earring here, the feathers, which have coppery colored and this is sort of a silver okay and we have this earring it's fabric with the fringe and the beads here Let's see if we find a match to that then we have a ring oh how cute is this guy this cute little owl ring and he does not have a mark, but he's a stretchy ring, and he's really cute. Let's get a measurement on him. Let's see. This guy measures in at around, I think a six and a half, but it can stretch up to, to maybe like a, a seven comfortably. 
He's really cute. If anybody wants him, he'll be five dollars. Then we have this gold earring, really cute. Let's see if we find a match. Like a paparazzi card. Okay. Oh, we found a match to this earring. Really, really cool earring here. I love this guy. I don't know why. It's very 80s to me. Very pop art. And I don't know if that's some glue or some tissue here. I don't think that can come off. These are really cool. These Thunderbolt neon earrings. And they're plastic. Fantastic. Um, I don't think there's a mark on them. But if anybody wants these, these will be $5. Those are cool in my book. Then we have this earring. Little bear. I wonder if this is sterling. Ooh, this is the other side. Look how cute is he? So I think he is a native piece. I see some turquoise, possibly some sponge coral. Not sure what that is. Enamel, maybe abalone. But he's gorgeous. And I don't think he was marked on the back. But I think he's sterlings. But if we find a match, we will test him. A lot of Mexican earrings here. I hope we find matches too. That's cute. We have this bracelet here, which I think hooks on and off like that. And then it has some charms. We have a, I think that's a tree of life and a moon. It says, I love you to the moon and back. And then this has a heart. And this has a mark on it. Not sure what it says. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Is that an M O? Not sure. But this is really cute. That's sterling. Let's get a measure of this. This one is seven and a half inches. I'm going to do a quick scratch on this. Now I see the copper coming through here, so this is not sterling. That's really cute. So we have that. And if anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. We have some more fashion earrings. Um, so we only have two complete pairs here. So this will be a dollar. We have some bangles here. This one's really cool. With the animal print. Then we have this one, silver tone. It'll be a dollar each. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay. We have more fashion earrings. This one we have one set, two set, three set, uh, four set. And this seems to be missing a couple of things here. But if I can find the matches to these guys, I will pair them up for you. But these will be a dollar for the whole set. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. We have some more fashion earrings. And I think I'm going to possibly break this video up into two parts if this starts going over 30 minutes over 40 minutes or so. This one we have all sorts of dangly goodies here. These are cute. I like these a lot. And then we have these earrings. This is a complete set. So this one I'm going to ask $2 for. These are cute. These little heart earrings here. Really nice. And these spirals. I like those a lot. And these leaves. Um, these leaves do have a little bit of a discoloration. I don't know if that's just a bad paint job or we're seeing the copper coming through. But these will be $2 if anybody wants the set. Okay. And we have here hmm, a little earring. Really cute. We have this really abstract earring here. Modernist looking. We have an earring like so. I wonder if this is sterling. We have a pearl and bugle bead. So this is faux pearl and bugle bead. 
This is the top of the necklace, and then this is the bottom of it, and it's a lariat. It's not a lariat. It's sort of like a tassel. I'm sorry. I'm losing my words here, but it's really cute. I love the design on these and how they ended the tassel here with the triangles. That's really neat. It's very beautiful. Um, let's get a measurement on this guy. This guy measures in at 15 inch drop, 30 inches around. It's really cute. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. Okay. Then we have this necklace, which has a BR. So this is a Banana Republic. And there is some wear on the chain here. You can see some of the gold plating has come off throughout. But it's really neat still. That's a really cool necklace still. Um, let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at a 17 inch drop. So that is 34 inches wearable length. Really cool. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. Okay, then we have Stretchy here. Really nice beads on this and the findings. All the rhinestones are there. This doesn't have a mark. It's cool. It's a nice Stretchy. Stretch on this is good. Let's measure this one. This one's a measurement of about six and a quarter. If anybody wants this one, this one will be three dollars. And we have this. I don't know if this is real suede. I think this is faux suede. And it does not have a mark. It's just silver tone metal with a lobster clasp. This is about six inches with a three inch extender. If anybody wants this guy, this one will be two dollars. I think we found a match to this earring. So these are cool. So it looks like it has like these little, I don't know if these are abalone. They kind of look like them. It's sort of a metallic bead here. And I think these are silver tone findings. Um, I'm not sure if they are, but let's test. Let's do a scratch on these. So I'm gonna scratch that. No, I don't think these are sterling. They fooled me. Yeah, but they're not sterling. But they're cool still. Um, you know, still very cool earrings. That they would sit like that in your ear. Um, so if they're not sterling, I do see some tarnishing. Some of the possibly gold plating has come off. But I think they're still cool earrings. If anybody wants these, these will be $4, $3. Okay, we have an ew, piece of fuzz. Then we have a little bird. How cute is that? Hummingbird earring. And this is just made out of metal. How cool is that? Let's see if we find a match to that. Then we have this little earring here. And I think that ball here is malachite. And this could be turquoise. Let's do a, let's see if we find a match and then we'll do a test. But I do think I see a match here. So I think these are sterling. So let's do a scratch of this one right here. And we'll take our 18 k solution. Turns bright blue. We have sterling on our hands. Hmm. The line is not turning blue. The line did not turn blue. I'm going to test that one more time. So maybe it is not sterling. Nope, not sterling. Okay, so it could be, I don't know. These are beautiful. Let me see if these register on the Presidium as anything. Yeah, so this is going up past glass. I'm not sure what this is. Definitely a stone. And let's check if this green stone here. This is going up towards glass. I don't know what the most hardness of malachite is, but that does look like malachite. But this is definitely a stone of sorts and I'm not sure what that is, but the wire on this is not sterling. 
but very cool. So we'll do we'll do six dollars on those. Okay, we have something in a bag here. It says $9.99. Okay, let's open it up. We have these earrings. I think these are just silver tone. Yes. And these look like they're just glass. Yeah, these are, these are glass earrings. They're very cool earrings. Beautiful green color. Let's do four dollars on those if anybody wants them. Okay, let's keep going. We have the stretchy. These are glass. Possibly acrylic here. These are glass. Not sure what these beads are, but this is cute. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This measures in at six and a quarter. If anybody wants this one, this will be two dollars. A cool tone earring. Okay, let's see. We have here a white bracelet. There's no mark on it. Three strands. Let's get a measurement on this. This one measures in at about, about six and six and three quarters. If anybody wants this one, this one will be three dollars. Then we have this guy, really pretty, pretty stones on here. I wonder. Oh, and a bonus hair. I wonder if this is rose quartz. Let's test it. Let's bring this guy in. Test this right here. So, oops. So this is going up towards the garnet tourmaline iolite. So I wonder if this is tourmaline, possibly. Beautiful. Not sure. Then let's test these guys. And these are going up a little past glass. So I don't know if these are stones or what they could be. This is a beautiful bracelet, nonetheless. Gorgeous pink on here. Shades of pink. Beautiful. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This is a six and a half. If you guys know what this possibly could be, this is tourmaline and what these other stones may be, please let us know down below. It's just a really, really beautiful bracelet. So we have that, and let's do this one for $14. That's pretty. Okay, oh, we finally find a match to one of the Mexican earrings. These are beautiful. And they're hoops, or half hoops. And I don't know if these will test on the Presidium, because I think these possibly could be turquoise, but let's see if it does. Let's bring the Presidium in. Okay, and test this blue one. Yeah, the blue one's not moving. We have this orange one that's not moving. The green one, it's not moving. So I don't know if this is turquoise or if it's just enameled, but those are great earrings, and we'll take a scratch here. Yeah, that's definitely sterling. We'll take our 18K solution. Oops, and test it. And that is definitely sterling, guys. So really, really cool. We have some sterling here, and these are beautiful earrings. Love these guys. Just need to be polished up, I think. But they are beautiful. Love those. Okay, I think we found some more pieces to the broken bracelet. So if anybody wants these findings and any more that I find, they will be a dollar. Okay, we have here a brooch. This one has a, I don't think it's a mark. I think it's just part of the design. Okay, so we have this 
silver tone brooch. It's cute. If anybody wants this, this will be $4, silver tone. We have this little earring here. Let's see if we find a match. Pearl earring. We have a, not sure, this earring here. This is a KS, so I think this is a Kendra Scott. This one also looks worse for wear. And I think this is a match to the necklace we found earlier. Let's see if we find a match. So we have this earring, which is the checkmark 925 Mexico earring. And we saw those earlier here. These are so cool. I love these. Very beautiful. And I'm pretty sure these are sterling. Just do a quick scratch here. Oh, so the bottom, of, I think, is the copper. And then I think the rest of it is sterling. So I'll take the back of it. Yeah. So the back is sterling. Let's take a scratch to it. Let's take the solution to the scratch. It turns bright blue. We have sterling on our hands. And we do, guys. So that's awesome. Found another pair of sterling Mexican earrings. Really cool. Okay. And let's see, we have green tree jewelry made in USA. I'm not sure, Vermont Flannel Company. Okay, we have this wood earring here. I wonder if this is the wood earring. Not sure. Okay, we have this, which this feels like leather. And then we have these pearls. And I think these are real pearls. Yeah, they're gritty. These are real pearls. And these look like possibly halite, dyed halite. Yeah, these are going up on the presidium here. So if it was turquoise, it would not register on the presidium. But this is dyed halite. So this is really cool. I like this one a lot. And this could be for a small wrist. It's really tiny. It might fit me. <laughs> um, so this fits about a six inch wrist. And then it can be adjusted up to, uh, let's see, it can be adjusted up to a six and a half. So we have this cool bracelet. It's really neat. I really like this one a lot. Let's do this one for $12, like that. Then we have this little starfish earring. Then we have this fringe that's on a little cuckoo. So, oh, we found a match this earring, which we saw earlier. Really sort of wavy rectangle with these, I don't know, they're pavade, I think rhinestones. The rhinestones are all like upside down and it's a pretty cool design here. Um, these are not marked. I don't think they are sterling, but you never know. I don't think so because I can see the copper coming through. Yeah, these are not because I can see a little bit of the copper coming through right here. So if anybody wants these, these will be two dollars. Still very cute earrings. We have those. And then we have some components here. So we'll put those off to the side. We have a bead here. We have an arrow, which I think we saw the arrow er earlier. So here we have the brass earring with um, the verdigris, which is done on purpose, <laughs> and the patina. It's really cool. If anybody wants these, these will be $2. Oh, we found a match to the little hummingbird, I think. At least I thought we did. Where did the other one go? Unless this is the same one. Um, where did the hummingbird go? This might be the same hummingbird, guys. Um, if we find him, I will give you, I think that's the same one, okay. So we found one of these. I think this belongs to one of the sets. Oh, we have this, these very scenic earrings. Really cool. Love that. 
so peaceful with all the trees. Let's do these for $3. I like those a lot. Okay, we had the finding here for this earring. And I think this just needs to be hooked back on. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I managed to do it, but it looked like some of the hook was slightly broken off there. So it's still kind of loose. But, I mean, if you have air hooks to replace it, that would be cool. Um, let's do these for a dollar since they need repair. We have another of these. This will be four for a dollar. We have four of them. And we have this, which says Pandora. Wow. I wonder if this is a Pandora. I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not. Let's see if we can open it. I know if it's real. Oops, I'm going to ruin my nails. Okay, so I opened it. And let's see. I don't know. I thought that the pan real Pandora would have like the A-L-E on it. I don't know if you see it on this. Oh, I do see it. It's inside. It says S925-A-L-E. So there it goes. But it says right there, S925-A-L-E. Sorry, guys. I ruined my nail on the bracelet. Uh, it's okay. So this is a Pandora. And then we have these charms here. Really cool. A graduation cap. This flower one. And these sterling ones. How cute is that? And I guess we should test this and see if these are sterling. Let's test the bracelet itself and the charms. Well, that's cool. I found a Pandora necklace and a charm in a blue box once when they were good <laughs> and um, that was a nice find but this is my second Pandora let's test these and see if it is sterling it definitely looks sterling to me yeah they are sterling it's 925 so very, very cool, guys. We have some sterling silver Pandora on our hands. Really cool. And this makes up for my last Goodwill blue box. Um, we have this. And I will have to do a little research on this before I sell it because I don't know how much to price this for. But really cool bracelet. That's great. And then we have this ring, really pretty. And this one, I don't think it's sterling, but it's beautiful. Let's see. I don't think this is sterling, but it's Tess. Do scratch and then take the 18 key solution to it. I don't know if it is, it could be plated. Okay, so that's interesting. That looks like it is sterling. So weird though, because I do not see a sterling mark on it, but it definitely is blue. So I think this is a sterling ring. Well, it is flaking, so I wonder if it's just silver plated. What do you think, guys? I don't know, it's very bright blue, but it's not marked. And let's see if these are stones. So these are just glass. Yeah, those are just glass. But it appears to be sterling. Very interesting. So I'll need to research this one too. Still have a lot to go. So I'm just going to grab a few more items here and then we will stop and continue in the second part. Okay, so I'll just take out this bunch. 
Okay, we found more of these findings, so these will definitely go together. If anybody wants that, all of the findings, they will be a dollar. And we have this cute little butterfly. It looks brass. Oh, wait, on the other side, look at this guy. Metamorphosis <laughs> happening right before our eyes. This is beautiful. It's enameled. Very pretty. And there's no mark on this. Very beautiful. And it's a keychain. How cute is he? Um, if anybody wants this one, this one will be $6. He's cute. Love that guy. Maybe we have some shells here, which I believe to be a stretchy bracelet. Um, the stretch on this is okay. Um, now, this one measures in at around a six and a half. So I think the stretch is okay on this one, but it's a little discolored and may need to be restrung eventually. It's still pretty cool. I love the shells on this one. Really beautiful. So we have this. If anybody wants this one, this one will be. Let's do this one for. Four dollars. That's cool. Okay, I think we have a match to the evil eye earring we saw earlier. Oops, sorry guys. So if anybody wants these, these will be three dollars. Those are cool. Then we have this little earring here. Really pretty. Um, I don't know if that's something on stone. Could be wiped off. Yeah, so I will. I wiped whatever that was off. So this looks really pretty, and it's not marked. I wonder if this is sterling. But let's test the stone on this. It sort of looks like rainbow something. I've got the name of the stone on that. Let's see. So this is definitely something. This is registering in at the quartz amethyst citrine. So I'm not sure what this is, but it's beautiful. And I wonder if this is sterling. Should see if we have a match to it because testing would be kind of pointless. But I think that is sterling. So we will wait and see if we have a match to it and we will test to see if that's sterling. Okay, we have this earring here. Really pretty gold tone. Okay, and we have this earring, which is the Kendra Scott which has a lot of wear on it. I don't know if it could be salvaged. Then we have, I don't know. And then we have, ooh, this face earring, gold tone. There is a little bit of wear going on. Let's see if we find a match. And we have this little gold tone. Not sure what this is. We have that. Okay, guys, so I think, oops, I'm going to stop right here. I have this much more to go. So, you guys, hopefully you let me know what you thought so far. What were your favorite pieces, if you had any? I think for sure my favorites so far were, of course, the Pandora. Even though I'm not a Pandora jewelry fan, but that was amazing find. I like this guy, this little keychain, uh, the Mexican earrings, the ones that we found pairs for. These are beautiful. I liked these, these earrings too. And I think these stone earrings were fun. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun earrings so far. But yeah, guys, let me know if you had any favorites in this. If you had any insights, love to hear them because you guys are awesome. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell and that it's on to be notified of my next video so you can see part two of what's left in the bag. And hit that thumbs up on the way out. And most of all, guys, be well.